Hi guys, I'm Buck Weezer. Welcome to another video with Buck's Small Engine DIY on YouTube. We are putting the do into do it yourself. You have a lawnmower that won't start, I want you to pay attention because I, I think in the next 10 minutes I'm going to show you how to get your lawnmower running again. I run into this many times every year, especially in the spring after, after uh, sitting all winter, a mower doesn't want to start. Well, look, you don't have to uh, you don't have to put it out on the curb as trash. You don't have to pay expensive money to a repair shop. Uh, you don't have to hire a lawn service and you don't have to settle for trade it in for one of those battery powered models. I'm going to show you how to get your mower running again. This works 99 times out of 100. I'm confident we can do it. So stay tuned. So here's the mower that was given to me recently. It hasn't been run or started in a year and a half for two years, and it's just sat outside. I, uh, it's a nice mower. It's a Craftsman. It's got a Briggs and Stratton engine. I can see the date code. This is from 2010, so it's about 12 or 13 years old. It's uh, self-propelled. It's got a bagger. Um, really a pretty nice, uh, really a pretty nice mower and I can see that uh, spark plug has been taken out and my guess is that when it wouldn't start the previous owner decided well maybe I'll try a new spark plug and removing the old one was as far as he got. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you my process for testing out a mower and getting it going. So let's put in a spark plug first and foremost and then we'll see if it'll fire up. Okay, I put in a new spark plug and we added fuel. Let's see if it wants to, uh, let's see if we can get it to fire up. So as you can see, it doesn't run. Let me show you our next step. I'm going to take a 5 16th socket and take down the uh, air filter and that cover. And then I'll have a look at the carburetor. All right. What I want to do next is take a little bit of starting fluid and I want to spray it directly into the throat of the carburetor. Then we're going to see if it'll run on that. That's going to help us out a lot. All right, let's see if it'll run briefly on that starting fluid alone. Okay, so it fired up very briefly on the fuel of that starting fluid and that proves that our engine will run, that it does have compression and it is getting spark. And the problem is, it's not getting fuel through the carburetor, and that's our problem. And that's going to be our 10-minute fix. I'm going to put this up on the uh, workbench so we can see it a little closer, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so here we have the, the mower up on the workbench, and I'm going to take off with one, two, three, uh, those three bolts that hold on the air cleaner assembly. And that's going to give us access to the carburetor. And the carburetor is the spot where we're having a problem. Essentially, there's no fuel flowing through the main jet of the carburetor. So the engine can't run. And the reason that is, the reason that it's not flowing is because the main jet's clogged up with old fuel. Old fuel tends to sit in, a, in an engine, like over the winter or whatever, and because they make it with ethanol, it gums up. So I believe we need to clean out at least the main jet on this carburetor back here. So he comes off and moves out of the way. All right, so now we have access to our carburetor and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna take the bowl down. There's a half inch nut here on the bottom and that's probably where our problem lies. Now, I gotta pinch off the fuel line and I'm going to do that with these vice grips. All right, and now, 
Now I'm going to drop this carburetor uh, bowl. I need to get a rag under there because I will spill a little bit of gas, whatever gas is in the bowl. So you can see it leaking out here at the base of the carburetor. I guess gloves would be a good idea, but I didn't get around to that, so. Okay. Now when I pull down this bowl, it's gonna be really obvious to you why the mower's not running. See all that crud in there? All kinds of crud in there. We gotta clean that out. See, that's gumming up the, uh, the main jet. Now on this particular Briggs & Stratton, the main jet is this this bowl plug that the nut bowl nut and I don't know if you'll be able to see this real closely but the fuel has to enter through the holes on the that hole on the bottom and then come up through the top and that's plugged with debris there's no fuel flow getting through that and I apologize if that's hard to see but we need to clean out the, the orifices of this main jet as well as clean out this bowl. And I think that's probably all we'll have to do to get this back up and running. All right, I'm gonna use some Super Tech. It's a Walmart brand carburetor and air intake cleaner. And I'm gonna clean out the, this bowl. And I'm gonna wipe it out with a rag. I'm gonna wipe the inside and the outside. It's a good darn tootin' the big fig Newton never mind commercial from years ago all right so just gonna clean this out all right so that's good for the bowl now I'm gonna do the same thing with this bowl nut So I'm just spraying some of this carburetor cleaner through the, the holes in this, in this main jet. I'm going to get like a paper clip or something and stick that through the holes as well. So I got a couple of these picks and pokers and I'm just going to poke them through these holes here. Hopefully you can see that. See those, those have gotten clogged up with crud. Move this gasket out of the way. And since there's no fuel able to flow through those holes, that's why it won't run. We know it will run if it gets fuel because we proved that with the starting fluid. And by cleaning these out in the 10 minutes that it takes, we're gonna have this thing up and running again. See, when you spray in the top and it comes out the sides, you know you're good. Or when you spray through the sides and it comes out the top, you know you're good. It's clean. Okay. I don't like this gasket. It's kind of worn out. I'm going to see if I have another. And I'm going to put that on the nut. And we'll put our bowl back up in place. And then um, we'll keep our fingers crossed. But I think it's going to run. All right, clean bowl, clean jet. Let's put it back up. All right, bowl's back in place. We can release the clamp on the fuel line. We'll put this guy back up with the one, two, three, five sixteenths inch bolts. I've got a new air filter and I'm gonna grab that, put that back, put, put that on. Just snugging them down, not too hard. All right, good. Get my new air cleaner and air, air filter and air cleaner cover. 
put this back on the ground and uh, we'll fire it up. Okay, we're all back together. See if it'll cooperate. Excellent. And it's back to a one pull start. Well, I knew there wasn't going to be very much wrong with this mower. And uh, it wasn't that hard to clean out that carburetor jet, get it firing up and running great, starting on the first pull. So that's why I say 99 times out of 100, that's all it is. Now I got a, I got a great mower. Uh, that I could use or sell or, or give away certainly does not need to go to the curb. Um, and it's going to be the same principle no matter what make and model you have. So if this video is of, has been of help to you, please uh, give me the thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. I've got a lot of other do-it-yourself videos related to lawn and garden equipment. Uh, thank you so much. Your comments and questions are always welcome in the discussion below. And good luck fixing your mower. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.